All right, I'm gonna show you cool features of advanced photo editing in photos on your iPhone 12, Super Pro Max, uh, whatever this phone's called. <laughs> Here we go. First of all, we're gonna open this up. I'm just gonna open up something with a nice field in it. So I took a picture of a Saturn and um, you know what, that's giving me too much of a shine. Let's use this one here. All right, so here's a picture of a rainbow that I took. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to edit to get to this markup page. And then you're gonna go to these three little dots in that gray circle, click that. It's gonna open up this pop-up right here. And then you're gonna click on this field that says markup. And then at the bottom, you're gonna see this pop-up. And it's got all these different, you know, what they do is they look like uh, look like those markers. There's an eraser, and there's a cutter, there's a ruler and all that. First thing I wanna show you is this little uh, plus sign. You're gonna click that, it's gonna give you um, a couple different options. You can do text. So first we're gonna show you text. I'm gonna click that. And what it does is it gives me a text box in the center. And then to, to manipulate that text box, you've gotta come over to these two A's. And the first thing we wanna do is probably make it a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it. And then if you want, you can change the font. You know, let's leave it on that font for now. Um, if, if, if you wanna write in here, what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, double tap inside of the text field in that blue box. And what it does is it brings up your, uh, brings up your keyboard. So let's go ahead and write uh, rainbow. rainbow okay bam nice huh and then um you know you could put you know you could hit return and then write something else let's say ocean and then you just hit any field and it bounces back and then we could make it a little bit smaller so that it's not so you know crazy let's go back in there now if you want you can justify uh your text to the left See how it moved? You can center justify it or right justify it. Or you can make it, you know, what this does is it kind of makes it look at like blocks. But I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. All right, so now if you want to move that field, you can. You can just touch it like this. Touch the field. And now we, sh we should be able to move it. I'm going to slide it over here to the side. It's a little tricky, but you can get to it. Now, if I want to change the color in there, all I've got to do is come over here. Right now it's black, but I could, you know, make it blue, which you can't see very well. I can make it green, which you can see really good. I can make it yellow. I can make it red. And then if I wanted to uh, get into a different color, I could come down here to this um, <laughs> rainbow, since we've got a rainbow, a rainbow circle, and I could change the color here. Like I could make it yellow. Notice it goes to yellow here. And if I close this, it's gonna be yellow there, right? So let's do that again. Um, let's, uh, let's make it purple. And I made it a lighter shade of purple. You can get different shades and gradients. This is a, a grid. And then you close that out and bam, it's purple. Now, the other thing that you can do here is you can change the opacity. Like I could pull it down like this and you see this little gradient in here at 17%. You know, you can change the percentage. You know, you can make it like, let's say, 26%, whatever. Close it out. And you're going to see that here, you can't really see it very well, can you? Let's go back to the opacity. Let's bring it all the way up. And let's close this out by clicking this little X. And now you can see it better, right? I'm going to go to yellow so you can really see this well. Now, let's say you got it in there. You like it. But now nah, you want to check. They only give you three choices here. You got Helvacia which isn't very fun. You got Georgia, not too fun. Noteworthy, that's, that's more fun, I think, you know, so you can do that. And that's basically your text edit, you know, that you can do. Um, now, there's a couple other things that you can do on this, on this markup page. Um, you can come to this box here and you can, you can put a magnifier on this. And this is interesting. Let's, let's put it right over the kite, okay? So what it does is it magnifies the kite. Now it has a zoom too. This little green dot is a zoom and you can zoom on it or you can pull it out. Let's go to a side corner so you can see. See, it's kind of zooming in, getting closer and closer and then out. Now the other thing you can do is you can expand it. 
make it a little bit bigger like that. And now you could zoom in and make that larger, you know? And you can move it around and look at different things. And then if you want to get rid of that, all you got to do is come up to markup and you could go boom, 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 until it all disappears. Or you could double tap and just hit delete and it just goes away. All right, let's go back down in here and check out what else is in this thing here. Let's click on that. Now, the signature, uh, I've got a couple in there and you can change it, you can add or remove. Let's, uh, let's click that and we'll just get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, because those really aren't my signatures. <laughs> and then when I'm done, I hit that. Now I'm gonna show you how to add one. Let's go ahead and pop that and let's go signature. All right, now it says new signature. All right, so I'm gonna just put, I'm just gonna do some crazy thing like that. And then I'm gonna say, okay, that's, I'm done, bam. Now, there it is, look. <laughs> now let's go back in here. Let's look at, see if they show it. It says add or remove, it shows it. That's, that's the signature that I have. Now, if I wanted to add or remove a signature, I click here and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove it because I don't, that's not really my signature. So anyway, you can do that. Now, if you don't want this in there, tap it, hit delete and it's gone, all right? So now let's go down and see what else they got. Let's click on this. Now we went through text, we went through signature, up ah, magnifier. Let's check out these things at the very bottom. The first one's an arrow on the right. Let's click that. Oh, look at this. Check it out. So now you get an arrow. So now if you, let's touch it. Now we can move it around. And I think that we can change the size of it and the direction. So let's take a look at over here. So now I can do this. Look, I got two arrows. I can make thicker. I can make double arrows. Uh, I can make it a little bit thinner. And so you can see it's here's thin, thick, and whatever. So I change the arrow into a line by doing that. And then I've got one, my one direction arrows, right? All right, now let's say this arrow is kind of crushing it. So let's go, let's pull it this way, like that. And then let's bring this around over here. Let's pull this down. Let's pull this over. And you notice I bent it a little bit. <laughs> which you can do, you know, which is kind of cool. And the bend, it comes from this part here. You see that? Look at, so I can do that. By using this little green dot, I can bend it. But I'm thinking that that, let's do this and let's pull this over here. Let's click on it again. I'm gonna pull that there. So it says rainbow ocean and I'm kind of like pointing at it. That gives me that thing there. Let's say I don't really like that. I want to make it thinner. I can do that. And that's how you do the arrow thing, right? So that's one of the things that you can use. Now let's go back in there. Let's look at this bubble. Bam. Look at, check that out. Now this thing here, you can move around too. Now, now I don't really have a human being in here that would be saying something, but let's just pretend like the rainbow's talking. And to move it, you see there's the, whenever you're moving something or bending it like I did with the arrow, you got this little green dot. So I can pull it over, let's say, and I point it over here. I can also open this by pulling it like that. You see that? Now I can shrink it too, or I can elongate it, or I can make it, uh, I can change the aspect ratio on it like that, right? And now the other thing that I can do is I can change the color of it. I can make it blue. I can make it blue, I can make it green. It's not very sensitive to my fingers today. Or I can make it yellow, right? Now, if you like that, that's cool. Now you can come in here and watch this. We can click on this. Now we can change the thickness. Each time you have to come back if you don't like it. See that? So you got the, you know, you change the thickness or you could fill it all the way in like that, bam, done. Now let's go over here. Let's click again and let's add, add a text field. And let's put our text field right inside our bubble. But we can't see it because it's yellow, so let's change it to black. And now we've got that. Now if we want to write in that text field, we could go like this. And it gives us our, our, uh, 
um, keyboard again. And so I'm just going to write um, my name, Tom. <laughs> and then, and if I'm done with that, I just, I can go ahead and click there and it just pops it out. Now, let's say that you want to add a circle inside of here. You know, we did the bubble. You know, let's go ahead and do a circle. Okay, now we got a circle. And you notice that it's kind of elongated, but we can change that by just pulling on it like this. We can make it more like a circle, like that. And then if we want to shrink it, we go like this. Well, apparently it's not responding to me. All right, so let's go to markup and get rid of that because that is not, ah, there we go, now we're back. Let's go here and let's just shrink this bad boy. Let's put it right about there. Remember, you can always use markup if you make a mistake. Now, if we don't like the color, let's go to yellow like we did again. And in the circle, we could do thicker, thinner, real thin, or you could fill the whole thing in. Then you could change the colors of it, just like I did here. Or you could go here and you could make it whatever color you want, right? And then if you like that, you can just go touch the field and it comes back. But... Um, you can also elongate it, and then you could come in here again, and you can change the opacity of it. Let's take a look and see what that did. See how it made it like clearer? You might want to do that with your bubbles. You know, you never know. All right, so now let's now if I wanted to delete this, I just click on it, I could hit delete, and that's gone. I'm going to leave the bubble and that in there for right now. Now let's go to our our square, right? Now we got a square in there. Now we can move the square around too. Let's bring the square up where you can see it a little bit better. And now we can change the color of the square, right? Just like that. And then we can change the size of it, just like we did with the other things. We could fill it in. Oh, look, we did something kind of crazy there. Now let's pull it this way. Now if we wanted to make it more like a rectangle, we could do that too. Okay. Now, um, Let's go back and let's make it like thick like that. And then you can also put, you know, put all these things together. Like if I wanted to bring this down here and put it over that, I could, you know, do that. I could change the color of it. Or I could, you know, come in here and I could make it smaller and then I could pull it over here and put it over this rainbow thing. So there's a lot of things you can do with it. You got to play with it to figure it out, right? Okay, so and if you're if you're cool with that all everything that you did, you just click there and then you come up and you hit done. Bam, done. Now that it'll that is what your photo is gonna look like in your photo thing. And if you're if you're completely done with it, you just go here, bam, like that. Now we go here and then we look at the photo again. Bam, there's our photo. Now let's say you're like, oh shoot, I ruined my photo, because that's a pretty cool photo. I can come up and hit edit, and I can come right down here and I can just hit revert. Revert to the original, and bam, I got my original photo back. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to use your iPhone 12. Peace out.